Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the use of configurations file in Selenium? Let me answer. For configuration file, we generally use properties file, etc. in our automation testing projects. And the purpose of using that file that is configuration file or properties file in Selenium is to store browser configurations like uh, on which browser we want to run the scripts. We can store that into the configuration file that is properties file, etc. Or we can store URL configurations. So the application URL on which you want to run the scripts, that URL of the application can be stored into the configurations file or properties file. Timeout configurations like uh, waiting mechanism, whatever the waiting, different waiting mechanisms that you are implementing in your automation scripts, the values of that waiting mechanism, okay, timeout values can be stored into this configuration file. Credentials configuration, okay, like uh, usernames and passwords, okay, some valid usernames and passwords that may be used in uh, application for authentication purpose can be used into the, can be stored into the configuration file or properties file. Test data configuration, whatever the data that is required by your automation scripts can be stored into the configuration files, file paths and directories. Okay. So some path of the files or directory paths you can store into the configuration file. Environment uh, specific settings like database connection details, API endpoints, etc. Okay. Can be stored into the configuration files. But why we have to store all these different uh, variety of configuration things into the properties file or configurations file for less maintenance purpose, okay? So what will happen if you don't uh, store them into the configuration file? Let me explain that first. For example, these are your automation scripts, okay? You have automated one test case, another 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 test case. Another test case. Now, if you are providing the browser here, particular browser here in this script here also same browser same browser same browser same browser same browser like this you are providing tomorrow if you have to run your scripts on a different browser okay instead of this browser a different browser if you want to run so how what to do you have to come to this automation script and update it here update this here update this here how many times you have to update how many scripts you have that many times you have to update this is a problem okay and uh, let's say not only this browser, but also the uh, application URL, okay? If you are providing one application URL and you are running your scripts, or all your scripts on this application URL, same application URL is provided in all the scripts. Tomorrow, if your client wants to run on a different uh, environment or application URL, you have to come to this script and update the URL here, update the URL here, update the URL, update the URL, update the URL, update the URL. This applies for all the different type of configurations, okay? Sometimes username passwords will change, okay? So you have to go to the individual scripts and update them. This is of high maintenance, okay? This process is involving high maintenance. Maintenance. So what to do? Instead of uh, doing this, what we can do here is, we'll create a kind of configuration file, like properties file or whatever, a centralized file, okay? And uh, here will be your automation scripts. Let's say these are, for example, these are some automation scripts and you will be storing or centralizing your browser name, application URL and remaining other things, configuration things in the centralized configuration file. For example, it is a properties file. Okay. And now this scripts need to get the details from here. Okay. If the script needs a URL or browser, that will be, that will be, that can be retrieved from the centralized file. Okay. Even this script also will get all the centralized details into this whenever needed, okay? So tomorrow, if the browser changes, I don't have to touch any of this automation script code. I don't have to update any of this automation script code written here in for each and every test case. I don't have to touch it. Rather, I simply go to the centralized place and update this at one place. Update the browser name. Tomorrow, if you want to run the scripts on instead of Chrome browser, you want to run the scripts on Firefox browser, come to this configuration centralized file that is a properties file, et cetera, and update it here. That's it. All the scripts are accessing the updated browser. That's it. You don't have to touch any code here. You don't have to change any code here. So with this process, even the URL changes, you just go to the configuration file, centralized file, and update the URL here. All the scripts are using the, are retrieving the URL from this in single file. So the updated URL will come here. You see, single place you update. 
So what's the advantage? Less maintenance. Okay. Less maintenance. Not only the uh, browser URL test data can be there in the centralized file. Okay. Credentials can be there. Directory paths can be there. File paths will be there. Env environment related settings will be there. Configurations will be there. Different type of things that can be centralized can be put into this configuration file. For, for, for any change in these configurations, we don't have to go to these individual scripts and modify them. Rather, simply we have to come to this configuration file. In fact, this configuration file is nothing but a properties file. We generally use properties file for configurations for storing configurations. Dot properties file, okay, and uh, update it here. Update the configurations here, and all the scripts will be, okay, will be accessing the things without the need for changing any code in this individual automation scripts. That's a user advantage of. Okay, creating the configurations file in Selenium automation. Okay, no need to change the code, less maintenance because we just need to go to the configuration files and update the configuration. All the individual automation scripts can get the updated details from the centralized configuration file. So, what type of details we can, what type of configurations we can store into the configuration files? For example, properties file, browser configurations like browser name, we can store your configurations like application URL that you are currently using for running the script, you can. A store timeout configurations like whatever the waiting mechanism okay so uh, waiting mechanism timeout maximum time and all those things will be there right that can be stored that values can be stored timeout values can be stored credentials like username password can be stored test data configurations like whatever the data that is required for your automation scripts can be stored tomorrow the data can get updated so simply come to the configuration file and update it no need to touch any test scripts okay file pass and directories tomorrow the file path or directory path changes okay simply update the configuration remaining all automation scripts will access the updated paths from there itself okay environment specific settings like database connections api endpoints etc whatever things that you can centralize and your automation scripts can access okay and uh, which will involve by moving them into the configuration file if they are you know uh, making our maintenance less then we can definitely move these things into the configuration file so hope guys uh, you understood uh, what is the use of configuration file in Selenium. Let me show you one example here. So here we have a project. Here we have a project and uh, so let's write some script here, web driver. Driver is equal to new Firefox, sorry, Chrome browser otherwise, Chrome driver, the semicolon, for the mouse, import it, import it driver dot manage dot window dot maximize driver dot get simple sample your uh, sample thing i'll use uh, i'll not cover all these different type of configurations but uh, at least one i'll cover let's say url i'll cover for now okay why we need to centralize the url for example today your application url is like this my dot blocks dot com you gave it here okay now you run the script this chrome browser will open my dot blocks dot com application Let's wait. You see, it has opened the omai.blogspot.com. But what happened tomorrow? Your client has changed the application URL to some other URL like uh, this one, tutorialsinger.com slash demo application. So you have to again go to this individual automation script and modify the URL here and run the script. This is a half I maintenance. Okay, here only one script is there. You will not be able to see the difference. But in your real project, you will have a lot of automation tests. Okay, in all the automation scripts, the same URL will be used. So to update the URL in each and every automation script is very tedious process from that application to this application URL. It's very tedious process. So what we do here is instead of hard coding this particular URL, we do one thing like this in this project, I'll create a configuration file. So to create a configuration file, there is a way like uh, you can select this uh, project, project new file and name this file as config. You can give any name, but extension should be properties file. In this properties file, I'll say URL is equal to I'll give this URL, for example, okay? Now, I would like to, send, uh, this is centralized now. This particular URL is centralized by storing it in the config.properties file. Now, how to get this URL into this demo.java file? Instead of hard coding it, how, how to get that here? I'll simply say properties, prop is equal to new property. This is from Java. This class is from Java, properties class is from Java. For the mouse, create, I mean, import, then prop.load, it requires input stream. I'll simply say file input stream. FIS is equal to new file input stream. This load method requires 
object reference of the file input stream. That's why I'm creating it. Import it. And this constructor cannot be empty. We have to uh, create the file. File file is equal to new file of. I have to give the path of this properties file. This properties file is directly created under the project. So I can directly say config.properties for now. Press semicolon here. Now import this file from java.io and uh, copy this file in this uh, file input stream constructor and copy this file input stream object reference into this load. Now over the mouse and ignore the exception, the properties file is now loaded. Now how to retrieve this uh, URL from this properties file? Simple, here in place of this, remove this URL instead of hard coding it, simply say, here there is an object reference prop, prop is object reference which we have already loaded the properties file prop dot get property. And here in double quotes, give this key, key, key of this, okay. Property name you give, the value will be automatically coming. Okay. Now run this here, I, instead of giving the hard coding, the URL, I am retrieving the URL from the centralized properties file. It will open the application, you, uh, the tutorials in the application, whatever I specified in the properties file. Now you see tutorials in the.com slash demo is coming from the properties file. Tomorrow this, this URL changes. I don't have to touch this automation script. Simply I have to go to the properties file here, update the URL here. Okay. If the client has given you a different URL, you can update the URL. For example, assume that this is the URL, the client changed. Simply update the URL in the centralized properties file. All the automation scripts which are retrieving this URL from this properties file will be automatically updated. We don't have to touch this automation script. Simply update the things here uh, at the centralized location and uh, you know, when I run the script, you see this time the script will run in the omega.blogspot.com application will be open. This is how simple it is. Okay. That's the main purpose or use of the properties file or configurations file in Selenium. Okay. You see this application got opened in the browser. Okay. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. Like what are the different things that you store into the configuration file and why we have to create the configuration file. Generally configuration file is nothing but a properties file. So it's generally created for centralizing the different things for less maintenance purpose. Okay. Without updating the code of different automation scripts, we have to centralize something into the configuration file so that the maintenance will become less. So with practical demonstration, I covered in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.